Getting your first job as a teenager is an exciting new experience, if you aren't doing to pay bills or whatever. You get that job experience to help you get higher paying jobs. You network with other people to help you get higher paying jobs. Oh my god, that's depressing. But most importantly, you get money. Your own money's 90% of the reason you even show up there. You don't care about building bonds with your coworkers or some shit. You just want to buy stuff that your mom can't take away. No, mom, you can't take the PS4 that I just got. Now, everything I just said is applicable to working somewhere like Walmart or something. Fast food is its own different dimension. The way y'all act is low-key deplorable. Some of y'all need help. Not three more shifts this week. Stop blowing up my phone asking me for my shifts! Hey guys, I'd like to apologize for the lack of content in like two weeks. I've been really busy with school and work mostly, and that's been eating my ass. But now that it's spring break, I don't really have an excuse. I do have a video that's basically finished, but my editor is on vacation, so that won't be out till like Friday. So I really hope you enjoyed this video that I was also really passionate about writing, and I just edited myself just to get it out there, you know? And I'd like to thank you all for 40 subs. I love you guys so much, and the support, it really helps. It really motivates me to keep going. All right, now let's get into the video. All right, teenagers and fast food, let's get into it. All right, let's get the worst one out of the way. All of you probably relate to this one, and if you are one of these people, yeah, just click off the video. You're the worst. These motherfuckers are known as the pets. The pets, they will walk into work, all SpongeBob-like, like, I'm ready, I'm ready, just ready to ruin everyone's day, just ready to just make someone get fired for swinging on them. These people are the worst. They will snitch on you for any and everything. They catch you eating off your break? Oh yeah, they're going to the manager. You put a little too much sauce in the customer's order? They're going to the manager. And don't let them catch you giving a little bit of attitude to the customers, because they'll run to the manager like you just murdered them in front of them or something. These people are the worst. They do all this shit for the same pay as everyone else. All they do is sit there and snitch, and most of them aren't even trying to get a manager position. They do this for, like, brownie points. Like, for who? The managers don't like you. Your coworkers don't like you. You're just a bitch. Just, like, quit your job at that point. Like, why are you snitching like we're at school or something? Like, I just bullied you or something, bro. Like, if you are a pet, please, just, like, change your ways. And if you see these pets, and you try to help them change their ways, and they just don't make them bite the curb, like, outside of work, it's... I, I, you're doing the workplace a favor. Everyone would love you for it. You'll be crowned like king. You won't even get the manager position. You'll be like CEO after that. Everyone will love you. All right. I got a little past in that first section, but we can tone it down a bit here. Now, the people in this category, they can just fall right into the first category and be both, or they can just function without that dick in their mouth. These people are what I like to call the slaves. Day is never finished. Master got me working. Someday master set me free. Now, what's insane is that these people will be like my age, be at work 25-8. It is insane how much they work. They just love to work. They don't do anything but work. They only talk about work. All they do is work. Now, I don't simply hate these people for working. What I don't like about them sometimes is that little ego they get. They get like a god complex from working so much at McDonald's or something. They'd be like, oh man, y'all can't hold that down like I can. Or, oh man, why do I even come in, man? Just quit. Go home, bro. Like, oh my God. Okay, Mr. Lonely, we get it. You have nobody to call your own. That little god complex they get, it just makes me kind of sad. But like, if you want to hang out with someone, go find someone to hang out with. Not me. I don't hang out with coworkers. You guys are gross. Ugh. They be coming in clutch sometimes. I don't really have anything else to say. They come in clutch when I need them to. Some days, I just don't feel like working. Like, some days, I just need a mental health day or something. I ask them to take my shift. They take it. We're good. So... They hide, I guess. All right, so up next, we got the complete opposite of the last category. We got the bums. These people are worse than pets, because at least pets actually kind of do their job. These guys, they're kind of just like, there. They just sit on their phone, they walk around half doing shit, and they're just the worst to have around. These guys will just be talking to somebody when they're in a rush, or they'll just be like, chilling on their phone in the back when there's a bunch of stuff to do. They are so annoying. Like, I already don't want to be at work, but when I see somebody and know that work's going to be like 10 times longer than it usually is, that's not a good thing. So do everyone a favor and just put in your two weeks. These guys are so weird. They're just like never in trouble for some reason. Like, have you ever seen one of these guys like getting written up or something? No, the manager's always like, uh, don't do it again. They just really like are in love with these guys or something. These guys are straight dick eaters. The managers are bigger dick eaters than the slaves and the pets. 
it's kind of crazy how that works. Like, I'm convinced these guys just got a job because their mom told them it was like an after school club where they got like free food and they could kind of participate in. Like, don't go to work to kind of participate. You go to work to work. Like, get that little extra $300 check every two weeks. Like, you're not living off of it. You're just using it to do whatever bum shit you're going to do, like smoke weed or something. Now, I'm not saying it's bad to have fun, but bro, like we're at work. I don't want to be here any longer than you do. And these guys have the audacity to complain about managers being on their ass all the time. Like I've seen white crayons more useful than some of these niggas. Like just do everyone a favor and quit your job. Put in your two weeks and just give everyone the extra hours. Be nice about it. All right, bye. Last but certainly not least, we have the managers. Now, these guys, they're really chill and they're really cool most of the times, but that's because they have to be. A lot of the time, these people are just doing this without knowing what being a manager entails. They just see a pay raise and a little bit more power and they're just like, oh boy, I'm so excited. Now, these people are just really, really annoying sometimes. They'll act like the manager before they even get the position. They'll come up to me all like, hey, go hit those tables while I'm like doing something else. Shut the fuck up before I hit your tables. You bitch ass nigga. Don't ever talk to me like that in your life. But don't worry, you typically don't have to deal with these people for too long because, well, a new manager will get hired, they'll say something stupid and get fired, or they'll quit their job and try the same thing again at another job. It's a cycle for them sometimes. So, don't worry, you don't really have to deal with these people for too long. Unless you do. Alright, so after watching that, I probably just ruined or enhanced for you freaky deaky niggas out there the fast food experience. You probably just sat there and watched that and were like, man, why the fuck would I ever want to meet these people? I don't want to work fast food. Look, everyone in this video is just a stereotype. And if stereotypes applied to everyone, I would have just robbed a subway instead of working at one. Look, I've met some pretty great people in fast food, and I have some pretty great coworkers who, if you found this video, don't do that shit again. I don't want to see your face on my channel. Look, when me and my coworkers really get to it, we can all put our shit together and we can have a great shift. We can get shit done. Everything's great. And I love them so much. Unless you're the bum. I stand by everything I said in that point about you and you need to quit your job.